Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Amma Wan coming to you with another lesson. In the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. We come in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rikha HaKadash. Uh, double honors goes to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And uh, much love to the Archimat that is pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. Salutations. Into the um, you know, the uh, the remnant of Israel destined for salvation, those that are, you know, cleaving onto this word, doing their best, like we all are, you know, for our salvation. So yeah, man, just a quick hit. You know, going through my travels today. You know, we we look through the we look at this world with different eyes, man. We see the wickedness that's you know round about. And most people now, there was a time when people might notice the things that we notice, but everyone's conformed. You know, the scriptures say, be not conformed to this world, man, but everyone is conformed to this world. But we are not, man. So we notice things that other people don't through spiritual eyes. So on my travels, you know, I noticed today a lot of, there's a lot of people now walking around in this, um, you know, part of this alphabet clan, you know, hand in hand, brazenly walking around now, man. You know, with pr great pride, you know, smiling in each other's faces and hand in hand walking down the street like it's, like it's the dumb thing now. And in this world, it actually is the dumb thing. You know, that's what they're teaching. That's what they're teaching on your TV and teaching the adults and the children and the old and, you know, and and it's you know trying to spread it to, to to the foreign lands not of the West. But you know, people just don't have any shame of it anymore, man. It's out there, and it's and and, it's, and it just shows you what time we're in, man. It shows you that we this is the time coming close to the destruction of this world, man. You know the wicked falling, and all the wicked, you know, being punished for their wickedness, right? And, and this whole alphabet business is major now, right? It's the, like number one priority for the, you know, the wicked elites and. Everyone else that follows suit and they're conforming to it, it's the number one priority for them, man. You know, there would have, there would have been a time when people would stop and stare at that, but now it's nothing. Even if people are thinking in their minds that they want to stop and stare, they're too afraid, man. They're too afraid to do what's right, or to to have that those those um, you know, to act in act astonished because they know it's unrighteous. Let's put it like that. So anyway, like I said, it's gonna be a quick one, man. No, one, no, I don't really like dwelling on these ones too too long, because it's not it's you know as, as wicked as it is, man. It's it's gonna to come to an end sooner or later, man. And 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 yeah, the other point I want to make: the majority of these people I'm seeing are are, are jakes, man. Especially the women, especially the women now. And I think I think I think the men still hold some fear. About you know repercussions of doing that, but you know I'm seeing it, man. I must have saw two 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 male couples, two 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 female so called couples. I'm not saying it like that's a real thing because it ain't a real thing, man. You know, the scriptures, you know, man and a woman are supposed to come together as one, man. A man and a woman, all right? There's there's these um these negative connections, man, are just that negative. They 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 bring forth no fruit. They're fruitless. Fruitless endeavors, man. You know, so anyway, never to read the scriptures, man. Enough waffling. So it's Isaiah three and eight it says, "For Jerusalem is Jerusalem is ruined, and Judah is fallen, because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of His glory." I mean, the Lord's watching this, man. Right, the Lord's watching them through the eyes of the angels, man. They're taking notes. They're watching all you proud Jakes out there following, you know, after the after the wickedness of Esau and his kingdom, man. You're you're a part of that. You're a part of Esau's system and his kingdom, man. You love it. You love his um indoctrinations, man, because it, it gives you a false freedom. You know, that you can be whatever you want, do whatever you want. But really he's just tricking you, man. He's all he's doing is weakening the population with this these indoctrinations it's not strengthening man verse 9 says the show of their countenance 
of witness against them. Yeah, man. So you can blatantly see by their actions or where they, you know, where they're walking down the street, holding hands and looking into gazing into each other's eyes and all that bullshit, right? They're declaring it, man. Right, but and uh, <laughs> so I'm going into it. It says, and they declare their sin as Sodom. You know, we know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities round about, man. And they were you know, involved in some perverse um, uh, actions, man. And they got destroyed for that. Those, those cities got destroyed, right? It says they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. No, they're not hiding it anymore, man. And there's, there's no secrets about it. You know, it, uh, you know, I like my football and stuff, right? And I'm looking at one of these uh, news, uh, sports news channels, and um, I'm talking about how you know, is this the season when there's you know they're going to be more openly, uh, openly alphabet um, players in the leagues, man? You know, so they're pushing that. They're pushing that, man. It wouldn't be surprising if they they put some plants. In, into the teams, you know, just to just to push it out there, man. Listen, the majority of the people that are into this, that sport, man, they don't want to see that. So why do you think that if... Because there's probably hundreds and thousands of, of these alphabet guys in these football teams, man. They ain't coming up because they know the people aren't going to... The, 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 the football supporters and the fans aren't going to accept that. All right? That's why it's like it, how it is. People are acting like... This thing is worldwide acceptable when it's really not, and it's just being forced upon. It's been put upon you to accept it. That's tolerance, man. People are tolerating it. All right. Some people are scared. Some people are tolerating it. Some people wholeheartedly are bugged out of their minds and they're accepting it. <clears throat> All right. But now, you know, they've been given the power to declare. Their sin of Sodom and hide it not, right? It says, Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Woe, destruction unto their soul, man. It says, Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. All right. So, you know, this, this new age crap that this world is under man this freedom that they've been falsely taught is gonna it's gonna buck up against them man it's gonna be there to their own destruction all right let's go to isaiah verse one quickly it says what it says isaiah one and three says the ox knoweth his owner and the uh, and the ass or the ass his master's crib but israel doth not know people do not consider yeah because if they knew the lord man they wouldn't be doing this right they wouldn't be doing it they wouldn't be co-signing it you know being allies to it dabbling in it you know all the stuff that you know and it's especially the women man the women are leading this rally especially our women are leading this rally man they think it's cool to have you know these alphabet friends and that or to dabble in both sides man Right, they lead in the rally for this man. It says the ox knows his owner and the ass his master's crib. But if Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. They're not even thinking about the consequences of these actions, man. Because there was a time when people have thought, mm, you know, the Bible says this, that, and the other about this. But now it's nah, nah. Esau's saying it's fine, so we, let's just do it. And we can do whatever, anything, because Esau says so. You see. They're running on Esau's laws, man. They're not running on Yahweh Hashem Yahushai's ways. They're running on the ways of these wicked elites, man. These Edomites, man. These devils. You know, the ways of Babylon, man. It says, ah, sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity. Sin upon sin, man. A seed of evil doers. Children that are corrupters. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. Backward, you know, they're, they're going backward, man. They're going off. He says, Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. Yeah, man, this is a revolt. This is revolting. This is a, a revolt, a, a, you know, a rebellion against the Most High. 
It says the, the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Done out here, man. You know? Let's get a quick one in Proverbs. It's got a few jotted down. I'm just going to get them, bring them out, man. You know? Proverbs 28 and 18 says, Whoso walketh uprightly shall be saved, but he that is perverse in his ways shall fall at once. Yeah, man. So, look, we know that we're not perfect in this world, but we know the rights from the wrongs, man. We don't listen to the ways of the rulers of this world, man. We listen to the ways of Yahweh, Ba Shem, Yom Shai, man. You know? That's who we listen to, man. Romans 1 and 18 says, For the wrath of, of Yahweh is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and the unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. They hold the truth in unrighteousness, man. You know, people want to delve into the scriptures and try and find ways to prove that, the, you know, that the Most High is with this. Even though it clearly tells you that he's not. You know. Listen, they talk about you know, if if I if 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 God doesn't like this and what and he made everything, why did he make me like this? Well, he made you like this for your own destruction, man. That's your lot. You know, that's your destiny. Because be, it, verse nineteen says, Because that which is that which may be known of the most size manifest in them for the most for Yahweh hath showed it unto them for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by all by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse it's been written and it's, it's been it's you know it's been written and it's been shown what happens you know and that example as it always goes into in the scriptures is Sodom and Gomorrah man and the cities round about, man. You know, that is the example of what happens when that lifestyle that these people want to lead, you know, because, you know, is um, is is being led. You know, the most high is not with that man. And this is this, this you know, it's going to be another round of destruction very soon. It says because that when they knew. Yahweh, they glorified him not as Yahweh, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and foolish heart was, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like made like to corruptible man, and to birds and, and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness. So it says that he gave them up, meaning that he put them in that position. He made them that way, basically, right? Through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of 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 uh, Yahweh into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever and once. So they don't want to believe the word of the Lord. They want to believe the word of Babylon, man, the word of Esau, right, Edom, because he's the one pushing out this man. He remember he's the wicked man. He's he's they're the base men, the lowest of the low on this planet, man. right? It says and worship and serve the Creator more than the Creator, who is blessed forever a month. It says for this cause Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So once again, they've been stitched up, set up by the Lord, man. Here they're walking around with all this pride, man, declaring their sin as Sodom, you know. For what? Their own demise, man. It says, um, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the women 
of the woman burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meet. So, you know, live, live you know, live your lives, man, because you're about to pay for that. All right. Verse twenty-eight says, and even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. So yeah, man. The Lord's done that to you, so you can be destroyed, man. Because your wick, your wicked ass was meant to be destroyed for that. All right. Because remember, the, the the only sin that is not, not forgivable is the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, man. So, you, so if the Lord is dealing with you, you can He can take you out of the the depths of that depravity. All right, and some people have done that, man. This story, you know, you see stories and. On the internet and stuff about people once being in that lifestyle and realizing it was wrong, because they didn't realize by themselves, man. The spirit was put on on them to change their ways, man. Let me just get one more, and I'll, that'll be that on this. Jeremiah 7 and yeah 21 I'll start from it says thus saith the, thus saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts the power of Israel put your burnt offerings unto your sacrifices and eat flesh for I spake not unto your fathers nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices but this thing I commanded them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your power, and ye shall be my people. And walk ye in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well unto you. Right? So meaning what, man? You, we, all we had to do as a people was listen to the Lord and obey him and worship him, man. And praise him, exalt him. It's not a hard thing to do when you, especially the miracles that they saw. You know, in the Exodus, man, come, being, um, uh, being saved out of Egypt, man. Couldn't even do that. Right? And it says what? That it may be well unto you. Meaning that if you do all those things, man. The, you know, the, the, the Deuteronomy 28, starting from the first verse, te te teaches you about the blessings, man. That all you have to do is hark all we have to do is hearken unto the Lord. But we get, as a people, our people are waxing worse and worse as time goes on before, before the eve of this destruction, man. He says, but they hearken not, nor incline their ear, but walked in the counsels and in the imagination of their evil heart, and went backward and not forward. Right? Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land, and we read about that going backward, man, in Isaiah uh, chapter 3, man. No, it's like it, chapter 1. It says, in the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day, I have sent even I have even sent unto you all my servants the prophets daily rising up early and sending them. So you've heard, man. The world has heard from the beginning about these wicked ways, man. And people have not listened. So that's gonna bring about their judgment, man. But it says yet yeah, they hearken not unto me, nor incline their ear, but harden their neck. They did worse than their fathers. So like I said, man. Our people are waxing worse and worse, even worse than our forefathers, man. You know? Hard in their neck, man. Stiff neck people, the Lord calls our people, man. It says, Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them, but they will not hearken to thee. Thou shalt also call unto them. But they will not answer thee. Right? Because they're, they're not going to listen. Some are destined for the sword, man. They're destined for the, the, the fire and brimstone that's coming. Right? The destruction, they're destined for it, of our people. And it's the majority of them, man. 
He says, But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their power, nor receiveth correction. Truth is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Yeah, they're so wrapped up in the in the world of, in, in they're so wrapped up in this world, man. They can't even see what they're doing anymore. That conscience, that spirit that our people had, we all had it. You know, we all knew when we was going against the most high, man. We because you know, what was I gonna say actually? It says, Therefore thou shalt speak all these words unto them. That's talking about just Israelites, man. The Lord is not commanding the prophets to talk to anyone else but his own people, man. That's why they're going to get it the worst. And, you know, the scriptures talk about um, judgment starting at the house of uh, house of Jacob, man. So all the, all, all the Israelites that have heard this, man, that know they're Israelites, that are still doing these wicked things, man, your fate is sealed, man. All right? It's, it's bad times coming for you. You know, and that pride is going to, you know, you're walking around the street declaring your sin. Sodom, man. That pride is going to be completely smacked out of you. All right. Anyway, that's all I got in that, man. Now, Lord, when it's edifying, as always, I pray that it was giving all praises once more to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Bakar Gudash, and Shalom to the next one.